Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it still bull trend or it's a bull trap, what's going on with the crypto world on a daily time frame. And as usually, let's move to my 5 rules of risk management, please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for trading view. Let's start from trading view. Uh, stock market heat map based on the all USA companies, market cap and daily performance. But it looks like today is more green, not just Mega 6, because Nvidia red, but everything else Mega 6 green. But a lot of sectors green too. Health technology red, but some green stuff. Let's move to my watch list and we'll do technical analysis review. Let's start from, from my trading view setup. Just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup training and other links about online training. Training if you want. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages, white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5. Below yellow line RSI line, that's all bullish trend right but that's all it's it's so simple it's not easy because emotions involved if you follow the indicators you will be successful because indicators not have emotions like on my chart you see one green line the same way five the bearish crossover over red line green circle it was bullish trend now what we are observing last four days for red bars it's building some reversals it stopped at the sma 10 level Still above SMA 20, still bullish territory. Possible it will bounce from SMA 20 like it did it over here or over there. We'll see. So far, bearish signal, not, not confirmed trend. And NASDAQ, Q's, daily time frame. As of now, plus almost 1%. Another bullish day. Nice bounce, SMA 5 did bullish crossover over SMA 10. Nice bounce, looks like it wants to make a double top. At the same time, look at this price action is flat now, right? And bearish divergence on other side. It's building bearish divergence on other side big time. Bullish reversal, it looks like it's, a, it, it's building the bull trap. For our time frame, for our time frame, last bar still about all moving averages, bullish trend and bearish divergence on the other side. It should move few cents more because the, the previous high was 86.70. 86 and now it's yeah, like 50 cents more. It moved more 60, 56 more to make a double top and bearish divergence on the other side. Bullish trend. Or our actually it did already, right? Let's see. Yeah, it did touch already. It's already touched this level. Little bit, still a little bit. Uh, bullish trend. Bullish trend. S and P five hundred SPX. Let's start one hour time frame. Similar, not so powerful, but similar bounce. Bullish crossover. Bullish trend. Four hours time frame. Last bar above all moving averages. Bullish trend. And daily. Nice bounce, last bar just move, and I believe it will close above all moving averages. It's a bullish trend. Bearish divergence on the other side, signal is bullish. VIX volatility index for SP 500 minus 3%, still at the bottom level. Very, very oversold. It has bearish, the bullish divergence on the other side. You see, it wants to go bullish. Divergence is not a signal, it's a condition. And this blue line is the bottom of the uh, VIX from 1995. 
usually from this level it did balance very heavily. Dow Jones DIA daily time frame last bar above all moving averages bullish trend. Four hours time frame similar last bar above all moving averages bullish trend. And one hour time frame last bar above all moving averages bullish trend. Bullish trend. IWM Russell 2000. Daily time frame last bar above SMA 20 still in a bullish territory. Not so powerful. Still above SMA 20. Four hours time frame. Similar still below 200, but above SMA 20 still in a bullish territory. And one hour time frame. It did nice bounce and even moved above SMA to SMA 20. It is bullish territory. Still in a bearish place, right below SMA 200. Apple. Apple positive plus one and a quarter percent on one hour time frame. Bullish trend. Four hours time frame. Bullish trend. Uh, it did all time new high, double top also bullish trend and daily. Daily, you see the touch. Let me let me remove these lines to make it clean. Those lines more clean. Look at it. this price action, right? It's still kind of flat, but on the other side, not flat at all. Bullish and bearish, bearish, uh, bullish divergence. Price action is bullish and divergence is bearish. Bearish divergence, bullish trend. Just now. Tesla daily. Nice bounce, gap up. And last bar above all moving averages, still bullish are assigned over bad territory. Plus nine percent today. Four hours time frame. Last bar about all moving averages are assigned over bad territory. Disconnected from all moving averages bullish trend. And one hour time frame just sideways for several hours. Similar like you did here, jump, sideways jump. You did already two legs, even three legs. One, two, three. Uh, Usually three legs is the final leg. And now let's move to NVIDIA. NVIDIA one hour time frame, last bar SMA 5 and 10 below 20, it is bearish trend. Four hours time frame, similar SMA 5, 10 and bars below 20, it is bearish trend. Last two bars, they stopped. SMA, SMA 50 blue line, it can bounce from it. One hour time frame, same SMA 5, 10 and bars below SMA 20, bearish position, bearish trend. Nvidia still bearish. Microsoft minus a uh, plus half percent, one hour time frame, bullish trend. And four hours time frame, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. Let me show you divergence, right? Okay. You see bearish divergence on the other side, bullish price action on, on the price action. Price action is bullish on the other side, bearish divergence. That's what we observe. Not healthy. And daily. Daily is the same. Bullish trend, bearish divergence. Amazon. Daily time frame, bullish trend, bearish divergence on RSI. 
four hours time frame. Look at it, it did double, double top, bullish trend, and bearish divergence on the other side. For a one hour time frame, <laughs> same double top, <laughs> bearish divergence on the other side. bullish trend with bearish divergences google also positive today same it's building double top bullish trend for our time frame last bar about all moving averages also it's building double top bearish divergence on the other side bullish trend daily time frame last bar above all moving averages bullish trend and bearish divergence on the other side and definitely meta meta it did reversal yes to last two days and today it did bounce bounce from sma 20 still above sma 20 still bullish territory Four hours time frame similar it did bounce it was below sma 20 was bearish it touched sma 50 uh, four bars ago and it did bounce from it bullish trend and one hour time frame same bullish crossover bullish trend for meta let's do summary let's do summary still bullish trend on uh on one hour let's see let's start from dollar right dollar is kind of is in reversal state it's trying to do reversal dollar and at the same time it's positive for equities and indexes indexes bullish and equities bullish they did bounce with bearish divergence it's mean bearish divergence it's a bearish signal not signal bearish condition Signal still positive bullish, but it looks like a bull, a bull trap, and it can easy to do reversal because of the bearish condition, the bearish condition, bearish condition uh, contingency. Bearish contingency can bring market down. Like I told you, by historical, by by seasonality, market usually first two weeks of the uh, of the July is positive bullish and after that it should do reversal that's what we can see it also this year that's all that's all for now let's move to disclaimer i am not a financial advisor this video for educational and informational purposes only remember for educational purpose we are using paper trading simulator thank you for watching simple trading style videos i do publish daily updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all the efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.